Yo, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition video. Today guys, we're going to be showing you how you can make a kill counter in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So, with that being said, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with all your friends. Any feedback is greatly appreciated and if you have any problems, make sure to comment down below and we'll try to help you to the best of our ability. But with that being said, let's get started. Now guys, a quick little disclaimer before we get started guys. Uh, in order to do this, you're going to have to keep, keep inventory off. So you do not want to keep your inventory when you die, so make sure that setting is off. It is pinnacle to actually make this work that that needs to be turned off. Anyways, now that that is cleared up, we also want to say one more thing, that this can work for more than just two players or one player. It can work for up to as many as you want, three, four, it is fine. And occasionally, of course, with any command thing, there may be a miscalculation. So it's not 100% perfect, but it's pretty darn close. Anyway, with that being said, let's get started. So guys. The first thing what we're going to do today is we're going to set up the actual scoreboard. Now, of course, you're going to need to have command blocks to do this. So you're going to have to go to creative or at least cheat yourself some command blocks somehow. Anyways, let's go ahead and look at the first set of command blocks. These are, of course, for the actual counter, the, the scoreboard, you could say. So let's go ahead and see what commands you guys have to do in order to achieve the scoreboard part of it. Hey, guys, so the first command block, let's go ahead and take a look at it. So... In this command block, guys, you are going to, of course, have to say slash scoreboard, and you just basically put this command here. Make sure there's an impulse um, and an objectives add kills dummy. So just make sure it is exactly like that. Also, unconditional and needs redstone, obviously. And uh, basically, just copy what you see. Uh, as they say, don't copy in school. Guys, we give you the permission. Please copy this. So just do that. Of course, guys, you don't need to do this in command blocks. You can do this in your game chat. But command blocks we normally recommend are much easier because then you can control it and you always have it with you. So command blocks are really the way to go. But if you don't have them, your game chat is an option too. All right, guys. So the next command block, let's go ahead and take a look at what it has to offer. So guys, now this one is basically another scoreboard one. This is the players that add at A, kills, and zero, etc. So you're just going to make this impulse, unconditional, needs redstone. Copy the command exactly as you see it, guys. Don't make any changes. Every space, every letter or character you see, make sure you put it exactly the same. Nothing is different at the moment. So copy once again. And for the third command block, once again, guys, you're just going to copy exactly everything. Make it impulse, unconditional, these redstone, and copy that command, objectives, uh, sets, play, blah, 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 sidebar, kills, copy that. And finally, guys, this command block is to reset it. So if you want to get rid of the kills already on the counter, this is the one that you need. Um, impulse, unconditional, needs redstone, and copy that command exactly. So all these command blocks, guys, basically just copy the homework. There's no need to change anything. Make sure you copy it exactly how we did it and you will be fine for this step. Anyways, let's move on to the next set of command blocks. After you flick them all up, because up is good, you know. Okay, so guys, as you can see, we've turned them all on. And as you can see, the two players in the game, they have now got a scoreboard. But they have zero kills, because obviously they haven't killed anyone. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the next step, step of command blocks. Now, these ones, guys, you're going to need to do in command blocks. You cannot do it in game chat, so keep that in mind. Uh, anyways, let's go ahead and look at it. So firstly, we'll look at the command block, then we'll show you what you need to do. So firstly, guys, this is going to need to be repeat, unconditional, always active, uh, firstly. Then, uh, for the actual command, you're going to have to say test for space at E, then brackets type equals item, comma, name equals emerald. So you're going to copy this, guys, exactly, exactly the same, everything the same. Repeat, unconditional, always active, copy that. Then what you're going to need to do is have a comparator and a repeater facing this away. And uh, with that much set up, and then you're going to have some redstone string up to another command block facing both upwards, as you can see, which you can do by standing above your feet and basically jumping and placing them up like such. So um, crouch and then place, and that will be how to do that. Anyways, um, let's go look at the command block for this one. So firstly, for this command block, it's impulse, it's unconditional, it's need redstone. And uh, if we go ahead into the command block, you can see that it is execute at E, blah, blah, blah. You put everything the same. Those squigglies as well and the spaces are needed. Scoreboard players. And you say at P kills one. Next, of course, guys, we go up. And then this is a chain one. Unconditional, always active. And for the command, guys, you are going to put kill at E type equals item. Name equals emerald. And copy commas and spaces and characters just like we have it here. And guys, as well, something that hasn't been done so far in this video. If you look at the delay in ticks, uh, you're going to have to change this one to five. 
um, because five is a good number for it. So change it to five. Otherwise, it'll just kill the emerald instantly and you will not be able to get your kill. So, okay guys, so now we got two more command blocks to quickly check out. So let's go down over here. Of course, you guys, you don't need to build a contraption like this. It's just your choice. Now guys, for this step, uh, for these set of command blocks, now obviously guys, you don't have to build this like a platform. You can literally put your command blocks wherever you want. It doesn't have to be this fancy, even though this is not really fancy. But what you do need to do for this last set of command blocks that we're showing you, the third set, what you're gonna have to do is make sure you're above it. So you can just stand above your command block if you want, or just around the area above it. And then you're gonna want to make sure you set world spawn and player spawn in this location above the command block. So make sure you do that before you continue with this next step. It is vital. Okay, now let's go ahead and look at the commands. So guys, as you can see here, we now have two commands facing downward. Now to do this, guys, in case you don't know how to set command blocks facing downwards, you basically just chuck them underneath like that. And as you can see, they will then face downwards. Not too hard to do. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump into the command block. So we're gonna go to this one first. Now, this is gonna be repeat unconditional always active. The delay and ticks are just gonna be zero. And then you're gonna say slash give at P, square brackets, and say R equals one. And then you say emerald, which is basically gonna test for anyone in their radius. And then they're gonna give an emerald. So basically when they spawn you, they fall in this command block and they get themselves an emerald, which activates the next command block guys, which says then slash teleport at player which then takes them to, to any place that you wanted. Now guys, this is like, say you were building a death match, like a Coliseum or something. Then you want the people to always respawn there after they kill. Okay, so these guys, this command block is chain conditional always active. It's zero delay and ticks. It's a teleport command. As you can see, it's gonna say add player to any coordinates that you want. This can be any location. It doesn't have, obviously it's not gonna be the one we have yet. So the coordinates are basically for where you want the person to spawn once they die. For instance, if you kill them in a Colosseum and you want them to go back there, you can put the coordinates there. Maybe you're in a village and you kill them there and you want them to go back there, you can put the coordinates of the village. Because obviously the people are going to teleport here once they die. Where you want them to spawn once they die, basically, so you can control where they spawn once they die. Okay, so to sum it up in easy terms, what this last set of command blocks is for is to give them an emerald once they die and teleport them back to wherever you want them to be. Maybe it's a Colosseum, maybe it's a prison, Maybe it's the Sky Wars map, doesn't matter, it's your choice. Now guys, to simply explain this mechanism, every time uh, you basically get an emerald in your inventory. Now think of this kind of like a, a tracker or something. It's basically used to track kills. So when that person dies, they will obviously drop the emerald. And then in that radius, they will then be teleported to this location with your command block, which they will be given another emerald. Obviously, as this process happens, it will then give a kill to the person that killed you. So basically, you will always have an em uh, emerald in your inventory, and that emerald is used to track whether you die or not to give the other person a kill. So if you have an emerald in your inventory, make sure you keep it. It's needed. And obviously, that is why keep inventory has to be off. Because if you can't drop the emerald, the radius detection and all that's not going to work. And finally, once again, the, com the coordinates at the bottom are for whichever location you want the person that's killed to go back to. Doesn't have to be in our spot. Obviously you have different coordinates. Other than that though guys, literally everything can just be copied the same. And once again, you don't have to build it in the same uh, style as us. Guys, just do it whichever way you want as long as the commands are the same besides the coordinates one, it'll work. And make sure you place the things in the right direction. Other than that, shouldn't have a problem. Okay, and finally guys, to show it to you in action, to prove to you that it does work and we're not talking just a bunch of baloney, what we're gonna have here is a PvP fight between Rex and Scubs. And uh, you're gonna see when one of them dies, the other one's gonna get killed. Okay, so we're gonna kill Rex and uh, we're gonna show you ourselves getting a kill. So take a look at this, we smack his cheeks. As you can see, on the kills area, we have now been given one kill. As you can see also, Rex disappeared. He went up there for a split second and he teleported back here. Okay. And we're gonna kill him again. And as you can see, now we got two kills. Okay guys, so now as you can see, obviously you always have to have the emerald guys. So make sure if for some reason you lose an emerald, okay? Make sure you give yourself an emerald. Otherwise it's not gonna work. So just keep that in mind. If somehow you lose it, just give yourself an emerald. Anyway, as you can see, Rex is now gonna get some revenge and clap Scubs the cheeks. As you can see, you quickly uh, teleport in this command block area and then you're given a command block. And then as you can see on the kill counter, Rex is now being given a kill. So if he does it again, you will quickly teleport and teleport back. And as you can see, Rex got another kill. So that's basically how it works. Let's have one more PvP battle to see who wins this fight. And obviously the sword's gonna win. 
So Rex is gonna win with three kills to two. And that, guys, is how you can make yourself a kill counter. Now, guys, a few little last points. That we know this video has been long, and we're sorry about that. If you watched so far all the way to this point, thank you so much for watching. A few points we just want to say, the more players, obviously it's possible, you know guys, we said in the beginning of the video, you can do this with as many players you want, but just keep in mind, the more players you got, the more chances of error, because I mean, people will make mistakes, the, the more people you have, the more chance of human error, but also more chance that the commands will just glitch or something, and you will lose a count or something like that, and maybe a kill will be missed, so just keep that in mind, and then finally, guys, do not drop your emeralds for the fun of it, if you drop your emerald, just YOLO it, you're gonna get a kill. And as you can see, we are now just cleaning up the kills and that's just cheating. So make sure you everyone knows the rule. Do not drop your emeralds or you are disqualified because otherwise you're basically screwing the rules and you're getting free kills and it doesn't work like that, boys. Anyways, that's gonna wrap up the video. That is how you can make a kill counter. This was a long video, we know, and probably confusing. So if you have any questions, comment down below. We obviously made this up ourselves, so it's not 100% foolproof, and maybe it's a bit confusing because it's always hard to explain stuff like this. So just comment down below, copy what you see and you should be fine. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, this video took a lot of effort to make, and subscribe to the channel. Share this with your friends, but with that being said, we'll see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.